This place is a must visit in Sudan. So many pyramids. The way to the pyramids. Okay, so I'm here in Sudan and uh, today I'm going on an epic adventure with a guy I met yesterday on the streets. Such friendly people here. And uh, today we're going to the pyramids. Yeah, Bajraya pyramids. Yeah, let's go, yalla yalla. Plenty of police stops on the way. We're on the road again. Yeah. <laughs> Pull into the side, just prepare your documents. <laughs> that means you prepare your money. <laughs> money, money, day one, money, money. We had a few of these police and military checkpoints, but there's still nothing like an African road trip. This is Sudan, home to the world's largest collection of these spectacular ancient structures. The forgotten civilization. Sudan has more than 255 pyramids. Pyramid number 26 out of more than 200. I have seen the pyramids in both Egypt and Sudan, but these pyramids are really unique here in Sudan. Really worth checking out, even though it's a long drive and the temperatures are insanely hot. Beginning around 2500 before Christ, Sudan's ancient Nubian civilization left behind more than 200 pyramids that rise out of the desert across three archaeological sites more pyramids in the horizon El Kuru, Jebel Bakal and Miro in Sudan you'll find lots of pyramids they are built of granite and sandstone near the Nile Valley known as Nubia there are twice as many Nubian pyramids still standing today as there are Egyptian ones and the Nubian pyramids are recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site Temperature, iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it. This is Sudan. <laughs> so stunning. It wasn't originally my plan to visit these Nubian pyramids, but by talking to people on the streets, I randomly talked to one Sudanese guy who said we could go there together the day after. And he had no hidden agendas. Just a super nice guy. Wow! Amen from Sudan. Sudanese cowboy. I walked around here for a few hours and we are just about to melt. I'm not sure how many countries a scenario like this would happen in. Nothing organized, no tour company, just me and a guy I met the day before off to the Sudanese desert 6 in the morning the day after. Indeed a spontaneous and raw adventure. If you put an egg here, it will cook bro. Egypt has three really big and spectacular pyramids. But the variations in the pyramids you'll see in Sudan is something you don't want to miss out on. Alan, Alan Musahal in Sudan. Sudan. My new friend Eamon and I were lucky to have it all by ourselves. But it's also one of the hardest places I've ever experienced. Along with Lake Asal in Djibouti. And the Iraqi marshlands in Iraq during summertime. But the pyramids in Sudan were totally worth the insane temperatures. <laughs> it's more, more and more pyramids. It's kind of over. It cannot work. Probably like 55 degrees Celsius. Yeah. 55 degrees Celsius here in the Sudanese desert. I'm actually freezing a bit. Are you about to melt? No, because I'm Sudanese man. My man. <laughs> You're used to it. Yeah. You can survive out here for how long? For uh, <clears throat> maybe just two minutes. Let's see if we can find our camels. Oh, they're gone. A few moments <laughs> later. Two Sudanese cowboys. Yeah. Explore the country to the fullest. Watch and observe the people and their behavior and you'll find the true meaning of beauty, the true meaning of Sudan. Have you been? Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go. And you can be here pretty much by yourself.